Hi everybody, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making this really fun and inspirational card uh, from this Stamp and Bella stamp. It is so cute and so much fun. So let's get started. First thing that I'm going to do is I am going to stamp out my image using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink on my Mini Misty. So here I have it laid out. Now I did almost forget to take out that foam piece underneath, but the amount of pressure that you have will remind you that it's a little bit too fat. So I had to pull that out. I'm getting my um, embossing powder tool out my bag so that I can have um, the ability to do, do some heat embossing on there and not have speckles of heat embossing because I am going to, or powder rather, because I am going to watercolor. So I was having some watercolor fun yesterday. I thought, why not try to do it with some images? So here I'm heat setting with my Wagner heat tool and I am also going to cut out a mask. So I do that off camera to spare you. And I cut out that mask because I want to do the background. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what is going on. I'm telling you, when I'm stamping or crafting with my kids around, I get so distracted with the pause and play situation. So I forgot to hit play and record when I was um, recording this part. But I inked up this amazing wooden uh, rubber stamp from Stampin' Up! called World Map. And I stamped my image behind her with that. So... It gives this wonderful, just um, adventurous traveling look. All right. So it adds to her sitting on the luggage and all that good stuff. So I really love that. And that stamp set is no longer being sold by Stampin' Up. However, I found some comparable stuff online. So I'll link it below. All right. So I have my image and now you can see how wonderful that masking is. And I am going to uh, color in this image right here. I am um, choosing colors that... Uh, reminded me of my daughter, Adia, uh, because someday I want her to just have all the adventures of the world as I have been so blessed and fortunate to have. And uh, this just reminds me of one day far, far, far from now. And it's not going to go by too fast, so don't tell me that. Um, she will one day be leaving me, but long time from now, long time. Anyway, all right, so I'm filling in this image. Um, I am actually using, as you can see to the right, some Crayola uh, colors as well as my Reeves watercolors that I used in the last video. Now check out these Reeves. So I, you don't see me go back and get any ink on that paintbrush. Nope, I went one time and I was able to cover that entire image. The Reeves paints are just really good. And it's funny because I don't watercolor that much, but the more I'm doing it, the more I'm realizing the differences between different watercolors. Before, it was just an anomaly to me, watching Christina Warner or Sandy Allnick, and I'm just like, okay, I guess, you. I mean, you obviously know what you're talking about. I don't. But now I see this, look, this is, um, what, which one is this one? I don't even know where I got that purple. I think the purple's Reeves too. But anyway, so you can watch. It just kind of has such wonderful coverage. Okay, so I'm coloring in my image. Um, I'm trying to put a little bit of shading, a little bit of darkening. Now, I don't, this is the first time probably, maybe the second time you're seeing me watercolor images. I usually, I guess if you count um, the zig markers was watercoloring, but I don't know. I don't know who defines that. I would say this traditional kind of watercoloring, I never do. And I don't want to do it. And I was like, I don't want to do that. But then I said to myself, how am I going to get good at it if I don't do it? Don't, I mean, that's how it is in life, right? We don't want to do something because we don't know how to do it. Well, then you could just stay not knowing how to do it, I suppose, <laughs> because the only way to figure it out is to actually get off your rump and get to it. And so I said, um, why not show all of the people watching this video if I'm fairly decent at this? Uh, no, I decided to take that route and not uh, secretly watercolor um, because sometimes you just got to put yourself out there. Anyway, all right. So I finished the image and now I am making some, just a peak of this color on this uh, Bristol Smooth. So that, and I mean, I'm using zig markers here, but just a peak of color so that I can have that uh, poking out uh, behind my image because I cut her out of a Lawn Fawn rectangle stitch die. I did want to add some beautiful Spectrum Noir Sparkle to that, so it added to just the the funness of this card. And then I am going to put that down with some foam tape, uh, foam foam rather. 
Now this stamp is from Impression Obsessions and I absolutely love this sentiment. She kissed her comfort zone goodbye and stepped into her potential. Is that just not the most inspiring thing? Um, I need to look at this card a few times because uh, I'm going to be heading into a new job that is unknown to me, uh, but I am just ready and I'm excited and all right, enough about that. So here's the finished card. This one was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Lila, for sending me this amazing stamp set. I absolutely love her. And uh, you can find all the supplies I used linked below. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your comments. And oh, I do want to correct one small thing. So in my last video with the giveaway and all the watercoloring madness I was doing, I would mentioned that I didn't hit 2,000 subscribers and that I had 1554. I believe I said. I totally said that wrong. It was actually 1954. So I do appreciate some of you coming back and encouraging me that I was so close because I just absolutely said that wrong. But okay. Anyway, until next time, you all have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.